suffered death, so that by the grace of God he might take care for everyone. The death we wish me became our prayer. Our reign. He tasted death for me, so that my death will be glory. My death. In the end, he rose from the dead. For uh, even death is not only happy. He overcame. Hallelujah. So even in death, there is victory for us. He exceeds our expectation in death. Even in death, there is refuge for the righteous. Every time Jesus in his every ministry, every time he encountered death, he defeated death. There was resurrection. He didn't get that. Every time Jesus left death. Every time he met death, there was life. And on the cross, he said the same. And he rose from the dead on our behalf. Hallelujah. And so, the Lamb of God, the man who was seen by the prophet as the Lamb, came and died and shed his blood. For us, he exceeds our expectation. And so for now today, when a believer dies, the Bible says we should not mourn like the unbelievers. Uh, so now, in the word of God today, the Apostle Paul could boldly, boldly question, question death. Both be faced death and at death, where is your sting, O death? Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul who questioned death, who faced death, the Apostle Paul who confessed that for me to live is Christ and to die. For some of us, for the believer, death is a game. Hallelujah. Death is eternal life. Let me say in first God. He who has the Son has life. I think Christians should be the ones who, in our walk, we must walk like we are walking on the hard work. Because we are too blessed. We are too blessed. Even in death, there is refuge for us. We have great provisions for us. We are not without hope. In answer, there are a lot of people in the cold field. They are very, you see them, you know, they have feared like our brother. Very nice, especially the other two are. No, but God is mercy has called us to be Joseph as well. Hallelujah. We too we belong to the commonwealth of God. Amen. By what the Lord has done. So our expectations will not be done. Our expectations will not be done. We are a little he wanted to kill Jesus, but in the end, he, 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 he exceeded expectations. So our expectations will not be done. Let's keep our faith in this world. He has not changed. He still has expectations. Okay. 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 Look, but the Bible says the just shall be by faith. And not by sight. Hallelujah. And I bless this church for your consistency, for your faith. And I pray that you know wings of revival will grow in Sweden. And uh, we believe the word of God that our labor in Him is never in vain. Hallelujah. There will be times when wings of revival will grow even more. 
The book of the righteous shall be gladdened. God, who has started a good work in us, is in truth to complete it. We are still God in country, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works. Amen. So let's have our, let's keep our faith strong in Him. Let's keep our faith strong in His word. In a time when some have left the faith, let's keep our and let's know that our God will be He has done it. He will always do it. And He will continue to do it. He is not going to start failing with us. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not going to start failing with us. So let's have faith. May the Lord bless us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you that you are a good God. Thank you that you are an excellent God. And thank you that we can exercise our faith in you. Thank you, O God, that you have started a good work and you are faithful. You are the one who has called us in this fellowship with you. And we are grateful for that. Father, thank you. We thank you for this ministry. Thank you for this church. We pray, O God, thank you that Whatever we are doing here is never in vain. The Father, you will bring multiplication. You will bring your blessing. We may not see it at this time. Father,